Hey everyone, Dante D here. I hope you're all having a great day. And when I saw this, I just had to make a video about it because I kind of thought this was hilarious. So I have a question for you all. How would you like to own an original copy of Action Comics number one, but not a complete copy, just a few pieces of it? Well, that is exactly what happened. Uh, Bleeding Cool reports that Flakes from Action Comics number one are up for auction. They posted this yesterday. The uh, auction happened yesterday on Tuesday, December 15th. Today's the 16th. And they literally, here, here, here they are, the Flakes. <laughs> they auctioned off Flakes from Action Comics number one. So, you know, I, I definitely get it. Action Comics number one is the holy grail of, our, of all comic books. It, you know, Superman is the hero that established the archetype of the whole superhero. He technically was the first superhero. So after Action Comics number one launched in 1938, hundreds and hundreds of superheroes followed Superman. And in one way or another, all superheroes that exist today are based off of Superman. So I definitely understand the cultural significance of Action Comics number one. But would someone really go so far as to pay money for flakes of Action Comics number one? I don't know. What, what, what do you guys think? I, I just, I think this is hilarious. So they write, Action Comics number one is one of the most valuable, most desired, most famous superhero comic books of all time. It features the first appearance of Superman from 1939. Well, it's actually 1938, but they write 1939 here. Uh, created by Joe Siegel and Jerry Schuster. Is, it, is that right? J Joe... No, isn't it Joe Schuster? It's Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. They did this wrong too. I've, I had to stop there for a second and think. It's actually Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. Wow, this is this is really poorly edited. Anyway, on the 24th of August, 2014, a copy graded as 9.0 by CGC sold on eBay for 3 million, 3.2 million, basically. The only comic book to have sold for 3 million for a single original copy. I actually remember when that was uh, auctioned off back in 2014. That was just, that was huge. Uh, that, that a comic book, a comic book, mind you, it was the highest graded action comics number one ever. Comic book sold for $3 million. So they're right here, the Comic Connect dot com auction house has a few flakes of paper that fell off a copy of Action Comics number one and are auctioning off those flakes currently at $230 with a few hours to go. <laughs> and some lucky winner took this home here. These uh, these flakes from Action Comics number one. <laughs> maybe they maybe they think if they plant them in the backyard, maybe they'll grow like into Action Comics number one. But anyway, it says, uh, maybe someone thinks that, like an earthworm, Action Comics number one might reform around the flakes of paper. Or maybe, just maybe, it's the only way you or I might come close to owning such a gem. Very true. Uh, you know, I think your average person definitely cannot afford Action Comics number one. Even a really low-grade copy of Action Comics number one would cost as much as like a medium-sized house. You're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. You would have to take out a mortgage to get an original copy of Action Comics uh, number one. But this, I just think, is taking it a little bit too far. Flakes? Flakes from Action Comics number one? I mean, how can you even tell this comes from Action Comics number one? There's nothing here. Besides, I mean, you, you get a certificate of authenticity with this with this um with this product here that you're buying with these flakes. Uh, but, I mean, looking at this, there's nothing here that indicates to me that this is from Action Comics number one. This could be from anything. But Heritage Auctions, or Comic Connect it was, uh, Comic Connect guarantees that this came from an original Action Comics number one. I've seen on YouTube uh, people selling graded single pages of Action Comics number one. Like I've seen like just the backside of Action Comics number one or just page 32 of Action Comics number one. And those go for even thousands and thousands of dollars. I just I just think it's crazy. I would love to hear from you all uh, and, and hear what you think. Would you 
bid on something like this? Would you be happy to have flakes of Action Comics number one in your collection or even just a single page of it? I would love to hear from you all in the comments because uh, me personally, I, I don't think I would ever um, spend money on this. I wouldn't even spend money on a page. I mean, if I could afford the actual book, yeah, maybe I would, but um, yeah, it's, uh, this definitely isn't for me. And if you want to know how much this uh, these flakes sold for, they actually did sell. Um, there were 26 bids, 26 bids on uh, the flakes from Action Comics number one, and it sold for 410 U.S. dollars. And the auction ended on Tuesday, December 15th at 7:10. And here's Comic Connect's certificate of authenticity that certifies that, to the best of the knowledge and expertise of the owners and staff of Comic Connect, the Action Comics number one fragments staple are authentic and genuine. And there's the name of Vincent Zerzolo right there. And this guy, this guy's a big, big name in the uh, comic book uh, back issue market, comic book collecting world. He sells lots and lots of big, lots and lots of big books. He actually owns um, a company based out of New York called Metropolis Comics that uh, specialize in selling these really rare uh, comic books. But this, this to me is just, I think it's kind of ridiculous. So once again, we'd love to hear from you all. Would you buy flakes or even just a single page from Action Comics number one? Or would you be like me and just stick to the reprints? Love to hear from you all. And until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.